definitely. Uh, that's definitely something I want to take on. That's definitely something I'm ready to take on. Um, you know, they led the way and they mentored me. So now I'm in that spot. Now I got to mentor those younger guys and, and also elevate my game. Has that leadership role kind of come Yes, um, I, I felt like I was just a natural born leader, to be honest. And, uh, you know, and Malik and those guys, you know, for them to tell me that they look up to me, and um, that, that, that makes me push myself harder. It makes me push them harder when we're in the weight room, when we're in the field, when we're in the film room, and, you know, stuff like that. Yes, yes, yeah, so congratulations to Marcus. Um, I'm so excited for him. I know he's going to be special at the next level. And uh, for the, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers to pick him up, he's in a great organization. Got a guy that can extend a few plays. and So I'm excited for Marcus. Would you have been bummed if you went to an NFC team not named the Niners? Oh, 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 yes. I would. Uh, I definitely would have rooted for him. But once the Niners had to come in the house, uh, I probably had to just zip my lips. Yeah. <laughs> Cookies, you look back on the spring season. Do you feel like you got everything out of Thank it that you, you wanted to? Uh, for the most part, yes, actually. Uh, I feel like I became more of a smarter player. You know, my IQ, you know, boosted. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm running around more knowing that I know for a fact what I'm doing. And um, and I have to do that because they're they're leaning on me to, to make those plays, to, to be that smart that smart player. So I'm, I'm excited for that. And I, I feel like I took on that role pretty well this morning. What was it like being back in the lights of Richard Stadium again? Oh, it was exciting. Got a few fans out here for the day, but, uh, you know, it's great to be back here. I haven't touched this field since Nicholas State. So, uh, you know, we've been on the practice fields, you know, got the brand new practice field. So it was fun to be back out here and to see the lights shine. And, uh, you know, that's what this game is all about. What, uh, what do you think about Chris Brown's performance? Obviously, he got a lot of work in tonight. Oh, my gosh. I don't know how that guy did it. He probably had to take about 70, 70 snaps, 80 snaps. But, uh, you know, I felt like he did well. Uh, he, he stepped up, and he's starting to become more of a mature player and starting to catch on those little things that, you know, when you're a freshman that you don't tend to catch on early. And he's, he's doing that. Uh, getting back to the draft, 16 quarterbacks gone, not one of them named Jordan Poyer. What do you think about that? Uh, to be honest, whoever is not picking that guy up is going to regret it later on, and I'm saying that because that guy, is a, he's, a, he's a football guru, he's a smart player, and he's going to outwork your best guy no matter what. And, uh, and wherever he goes, uh, good job for that because uh, he's going to be a special player, and he, he will be, I'm calling, he will be a pro bowler coming up.